There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring three fascinating discoveries taking you from the heart of the Milky Way to the unearthed ancient Egyptian practices from many millennia ago. Astronomers find barrier objects at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Not a huge amount is known about the center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. It is located 26,000 light years away from Earth in the Sagittarius constellation and is densely populated with stars, featuring 1 million more stars per light year than anywhere else in the whole of the solar system. But now a recent discovery has led astronomers to think it may be even weirder than we ever imagined. This finding emerged following a study conducted by the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Nanjing, where it seems as though some phenomenon is stopping fast-moving particles from reaching the center of the Milky Way. Not only are these particles fast-moving, but rather the fastest in the universe, making it all the stranger. The team used radioactive gamma rays, as they are the fastest, most energetic form of light possible, and are formed when high-speed cosmic rays collide with ordinary matter. While these rays cannot be seen with the naked eye, scientists can measure the density of these rays and particles to determine their whereabouts. Therefore, by using these gamma and cosmic rays, the Chinese team mapped the paths and presence of each. What they found was that towards the center of the Milky Way, there seemed to be something accelerating the speed of these rays, so much so that they come very close to the speed of light itself. However, while this creates lots of these rays just outside the center of the Milky Way, for some unknown reason these rays do not make it to the actual center of the galaxy. Given the speeds at which the gamma rays travel up to this point, the fact that they do not penetrate through to the galaxy's core is bewildering to say the least. There is no explanation detailing why this happens, however researchers are calling it the invisible barrier which they believe must be so dense and surrounding the center of the Milky Way that cosmic rays struggle to get through it. At present, this is the best explanation we have, but it will be fascinating to see what further explanations they come up with for this mystery barrier at the Milky Way's center. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope found a galaxy with a lopsided appearance. The 31-year-old Hubble Space Telescope although reaching the end of its reign and soon to be replaced with the newer James Webb telescope, is still providing invaluable insight into the cosmos for us. Using data from the Hubble telescope, the European Space Agency has found that the spiraling NGC 2276 galaxy is being twisted, deformed and pretty much mangled by the gravitational forces exerted by its neighboring galaxy NGC 2300. As such, it no longer retains its original shape and now appears lopsided and out of shape when observed. It appears gravity is not the only culprit, though. Additionally, this galaxy's misshapen appearance may also be down to the superheated gases which are highly present in galactic clusters. When looking at a picture of the galaxy from the Hubble telescope, you can see its asymmetric appearance. It once used to be a typical spiral. Some of its arms are now elongated and almost stretched out of place. Not only this, but typical of most spiral galaxies, the Milky Way included, usually finds a bubble of orange stars highly concentrated in the center of the spiral. In the case of NGC 2276, this is slightly skewed and off-center towards the upper left. NASA also reports that as well as NGC N300 pulling outwardly of the spiral's arms, the intensity of the parts of the affected galaxy could be due to excessive star births and formations. They guess that this could partly be the result of previous collisions with a dwarf galaxy, triggering a wave of newborn stars. Other theories propose that black holes and neutron stars could have been a factor. It's quite cool that gravity, which we accept as normal on Earth, can have such a huge impact on galactic structures out in the depths of the solar system. In fact, it's recognized so widely as being an incredible phenomenon that galaxy NGC 2276 has made it into the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies, both now and back in 1996. 
garbage dump found in ancient Egyptian tomb dedicated to fertility goddess. A so-called garbage dump has been found in the grand temple of the pharaoh Hatshepsut, all dedicated to the Egyptian goddess of fertility Hathor, it is thought by archaeologists. Found during a project to explore Hatshepsut's temple by a team of Polish archaeologists, the intention had been to reconstruct one of the temple's tombs when they stumbled upon the heaps of trash. Perhaps seeming like garbage today, the piles and piles of offerings were once prized objects, figurines and gifts befitting a goddess. It is reported that some of the figurines were painted a stunning shade of blue, complete with breastplates and other intricate details. Today, upon finding them, we can study them as artifacts for further insight into ancient Egyptian culture and norms from millennia ago. The site found within this temple, near to Luxor, home of the Valley of the Kings, dates back to being an early Middle Kingdom tomb. However, many of the objects found within the dump date so far as the New Kingdom, which spans the 18th, 19th and 20th dynasties which ruled over Egypt from the 16th century BC to 18th century BC. This makes the objects an estimated 3,500 years old, and potentially 500 years older than the temple itself. Such offerings to the goddess Hathor are telling choices. She was once the goddess of the sky, women, love and of course, fertility. It is also thought that she provided food and drink to the afterlife once they passed along to their next spiritual world. Despite the artifacts clearly being holy offerings, the sheer volume of essentially discarded objects does also lead archaeologists to believe that the site was treated a bit like a dump site as opposed to a dedicated place of worship. It is further believed that local caretakers of the temple may have had to move some of the offerings to a different location as the site got piled too high with deity offerings. The temple itself was a magnificent place of worship. Hatshepsut was the first female pharaoh of the male-dominated ancient Egypt, and the temple's erection in her name was a necessary assertion of her dominance at the time. It was used for all kinds of worship and was decorated with portraits of herself and the gods. We are still in the process of constantly discovering and learning about things so important about our own history, as well as stories unfolding thousands of light years away. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.